Yep. Keep pushing her out with that inside leg. I'd circle again. That's it. Keep working on her head, trying to bring it a little lower. Even as you're circling, think of holding pressure. So I'd circle again because she was still a little antsy around it. It's getting better. Now she sped up again as soon as she saw that trailer. So circle again. That's okay. Again, they don't know what we want. So they're just reacting to things. That's better. So now you could try going straight. Yep, bring her head down. Because as she's getting over by those horses, her head's coming up and she's just looking around and not paying attention to you anymore. Yep, so just circle again. It's okay. Circles are good. Yep, bend her a little bit more. That's it. And then look a little further in front of you so you're not looking directly down at the dirt. Circle again. Yep. And it's okay if we have to circle the whole way down there. We just keep circling. Yep. But again, if she hasn't been worked and she's in a new place, this is all normal stuff that we're just trying to help. Yeah, we're just trying to help her through. Yep. So circle again. That's okay. Yep, so I'd make at least two circles, and then if she's okay, try going straight, and then if she speeds up, you just circle again. So we might just spiral kind of the whole way down there. But when we get down there, she doesn't get to rest, and she doesn't get to look at them. We just have to keep going to work. Better. Yep, look a little further in front of you. Yep. And then just even as you're getting her head down, just try not to pull your hands down too much. That's better. Yep. So you're okay. Good. Yep. Much better with your eyes. Yep. But she's doing better. Yep. Mares are smart, so they'll usually figure it out in time if we do it right. Yep. Remember to look kind of ahead of you. It can be at the dirt. It's just got to be enough forward that we don't drop our head down. So just circle again. Yep. And that's okay. Because if we don't get her paying attention relaxed and then we start gating, she's just going to go more towards a pacey side because she's already set up for that. So we want to spend a fair amount of time getting her to walk, getting her brain, and getting her thinking so she's not reacting so much. Good. Now I try going straight again. Good. I'd make another circle. Yeah, and then if she stays slow around it, then you can go straight. Good. Yeah. Right there. She's nice and relaxed. Her head and neck is kind of neutral. So good girl. What a good job. Just so she knows that's the right answer. That's what we're trying to get her to do. But again, if she changes, you go right back in your circle. But that's awesome, Paula. Very good. See, she's a smart girl. Till she sees the trailer. <laughs> then she's like, oh, I got to go to the trailer. Good. Still good. Very nice. Good. And you picked up on it. It wasn't a lot of speed, but she did start to speed up. So that was perfect. Just so she starts making the connection every time I speed up or get antsy, she's making me circle. Her head's coming a little higher, so keep working on that. Good. And then look a little bit more forward. Yep. She just keeps getting fast as we're getting closer to the trailer, so that's why we're circling.
Good. Yep, it's good with her head. I know she keeps speeding up, but at least we were getting her head down. Good girl. And anytime she slows down, she's got her head down, she's relaxed. Tell her as well she's good. So she understands that's what we're trying to get. And again, down here, you know, they both wanted to go to the other horse. So we don't want to rest down here at all. We just want to keep their feet moving so they don't associate this trailer and being down here with rest. Go ahead and start to ask her for a little bit more speed. That's good, right there. And then just keep that speed. Now she slowed down. <laughs> right there is good. Now don't go any faster. So if she's starting to get faster, just squeeze and relax on the rein. Bend her a little bit more so she's not looking down at the other end. Yep, a little more right rein because she's still trying to sneak her eyes down there to see where he went. That's it. So as you make this circle, you want to keep her bent just a little around it because that'll help her separate her legs. But she's actually doing pretty good at this speed, except she did get slower, so go a little faster. There you go. Yep. So as you're going around the circle, what I do is I squeeze and relax on the right rein. And I, I also use my right leg at the same time I squeeze on that rein, I push a little bit with my leg because I'm trying to get them to bend, lighten up. And then as we do that, if they're better, like I only ask it when they're not bending anymore. So I ask them to stay in a bend, then I release them. If they stop bending, I ask them again. Go a tiny bit faster. Yeah, Right there is good. So that's a good speed for her flat walk. A little bit faster, she slowed down again. <laughs> now she's a little too fast so a little bit less so just kind of breathe if they get too fast it's okay because we asked them to go forward so when they get fast i breathe in and out i take my leg off a little bit and then if they haven't slowed down then i squeeze and relax on the rein so now she's too slow that's better yep so don't let her slow down at all You're good right now. Yep. A little bit more bend right there. So a little more right bend, just a tiny bit. Yeah. So you bend, you did bend her, but then she fell in. So what that So what that means is we got to keep more of your right leg against her as you do it and just do a little less bend so she's not over bent. Yep. Yeah? And your reins can be a tiny bit longer. They're almost too short. So if you're not too nervous, I would let them get even a little no, bit. I used to ride, I'm used to riding long reins. Ah, so go ahead and go a little bit longer because now she's not doing anything so goofy. That's better. Yep. Now she slowed down though. <laughs> so a little faster. There you go. Yes, because that looks better for your arms. You know, I have long arms, so I can be pretty short and be okay. That's good. Yep. Now she's slowing down. So she seems to keep slowing down as she's going towards these horses. So when you take that turn, you might have to add a little bit more legs so she keeps going. Yep, she slowed down again, but you're right by them. That's okay. She's like, if I can't get to him, I'll take them as my new friends. That's very good. So she does have a very nice gait. And this frame is fine for her. So again, if you were out there and she was holding the speed, the rein could be looser, but now she's speeding up <laughs> as long as they're keeping the same speed. Yep. So again, anytime they speed up, I breathe out, take my leg off. But we know as you go this way, you're going away from her friend towards the other horses. She gets a little slower. As you face the trailer, she gets faster because she's thinking if I could just get over there, I could get away. <laughs> So when you take that turn towards that cross rail, that's where you might have to half halt and try to slow her down more. Yeah. 
that's a good speed. We just don't want it any faster, but that speed's good. So if she can do that there, remember she can keep that speed all the way around. So a little bit faster now, because now she's getting slower, a little bit more, and you might have to bring that like that with it so she can feel it. Yep. You're good. So you keep trying to feel the rhythm or watch or remain how much it's shaking and your objective is to keep enough leg that she keeps going that same speed. To her next speed, which should be your running walk. Yeah. Yep, we want to just make sure her head stays down and she stays relaxed. So if she gets pacey, we'll either go over the poles or bend her more. So a little bit more bend now so she's not looking at him. Yep, but keep her speed. Of course, he's going by, so he's going to keep the stroke in there. Yeah, so keep going, go a little bit faster. Yeah, let's see what she does. So now you might have to shorten up a tiny bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Yeah, and then be careful not to pull your hands down too much because it'll be hard on your elbow. So just keep circling. Yep. That's a better speed. Yep, and just keep thinking to squeeze and relax on that right rein once in a while so she bends. If you just pull and hold, she's probably just going to pull back. Yep, if she's really not paying attention, think of sliding the bit across her tongue, which means you half halt with one hand and then you half halt with the other. Yep. So if you see him coming, she's getting distracted. Slide the bit across her tongue. Yep. And you, you're not doing it harsh or anything. You're just trying to massage it across her tongue so she lowers her head and you get her focus back. Because the head coming up makes the adrenaline grow, go. So if, you, if her head starts popping up and you feel her getting tense, slide that bit but keep your leg on her. Yep and keep going and just keep going all around this circle. Yep. So now let's start adding the poles in, but sit back because as we add the poles in, she has to focus more. So it's not so much she's pacey, but I want her paying attention to you. So keep your leg on her so she doesn't slow down, make her go the same speed over the poles that she was just going. And you just keep your eyes up and sit back in case she catches a toe. That's a better speed, yep. And you keep looking for the next pole. So as you get closer to this pole, you're looking for that next one. Yep, so more leg there, yep. So you might have to keep your leg back a little bit as you're getting to the pole, because that saddle kind of pushes your leg forward, so it's not right where it needs to be. So you're trying to get your leg where it should be when you need it. So we're kind of preparing ahead of time. You're doing good. Yep. So push her off that leg, keep after her, yep. And then look up, don't look down at it, good. And then keep going. Yeah, a little bit more bend, good, yep. Keep bending her. You can talk to her, whatever you wanna do to try to get her attention back, but keep going, cause now she slowed down too much. Go around it, that's okay. So next time you gotta, you just gotta steer better. You can correct her. You can make a circle in towards me, but oh, you, okay. yeah, you don't want to weave in and out, or then she can't get to the poles correctly. <laughs> yep. So do something. Talk to her. Slide the bit. More leg. Get her attention back on you. Yep. But don't. Um, you don't want to pet her, and you don't want to scratch her, because you're rewarding the bad behavior. So more leg so the whole thing is get her focused on what we're doing so she's not paying attention to him yep if we stop or we start letting her look she's going to get worse i can see it yep so bend her bend her look up more leg yep get her going get her going we don't even care if she paces right now because it's more important that we just get her focus back so just keep going just keep going over the poles and keeping your leg on her in front of the pole. So leg right now, yep. Try not to kick, try to just hold it back there and then squeeze, yep. And look up, keep going. Yep, oh, very good, yep. Good, so keep going, yep. Again, right now she's doing a saddle gate. That's okay. Just keep going one more time around and then we'll slow it down to a running walk. So a little bit more. 
because now he left, so now she's not as excited anymore. Good. Now keep this speed. That's more her. Speed. That's more her running walk. Yep. Oh, now she slowed down too much. Now go just, uh, once you get over the cross rail, go just a little bit slower because now she's back up to her saddle gate again. <laughs> that was too slow. <laughs> Yeah, so just remember, as you go over that last pole, you might have to bring your leg back so it's ready to push on her. And again, that's not your fault. It's just kind of the way the saddle's sitting you. So keep going, look for that next pole and leg, 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 keep squeezing. Yep, so she's getting slower because she's focused on him down there and not the trailer so much. So instead of going faster, she's getting slower. So a little bit more leg. Yep, and as you get over this pole, if you gotta keep getting after her, keep doing it so she goes forward over this pole. Leg, 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 keep squeezing, much better. Good, okay. So after this next cross rail, now just go around the poles and we're just gonna try and do a running walk. So you want a gate where her head's shaking up and down. So that's her saddle gate, so we wanna go slower. So slow her down a little bit, there you go. Now keep that. Don't, oh, you can, now you're down to a flat walk. So right in between. There you go. Yep. So try to keep that speed where you see your head is shaking up and down. Shaking up and down. Now she's slowed down. She's more at a flat walk again. Right there. Now, don't let her go past it, though. So if you see your head's not shaking like right now, then we know we're up to a saddle gate. That's better. Good. Yeah, so now it's just being consistent with the speed because she's not. She goes fast and she goes slow. Yeah. Everything's smooth, which is great, but we want her to do what we ask, and we want her to keep doing it until we are not asking her anymore. Now just slow her down a little bit because that's the saddle gate. And again, if you applied leg, that's okay. I tell people, no, let them go for a minute because they are going forward and that's what you ask. But then you want to get the gate you want. Now that's too slow. So you're getting in between those two speeds. Right there's it. Yeah, that's it. Now she's slowed down. Now that's too much. <laughs> there you go. Now you got it. That's it. Yeah. And then just a little bend to the right so she doesn't look at the trailer. Now she's slowed down. Yeah. She's like, let's stare at them. Keep going. That's good. Yeah. Now just keep that. We're going to try and keep it a couple of times around. Uh, she slowed down. Good. Yeah. So what I would do when, when she slows down and you go to ask for speed, Put a little pressure on the rein before you ask her. And then that when you when you apply the leg, hopefully she'll keep her head down and not pick as much speed up. And that should help her more stay at that running walk instead of starting to go towards her saddle gate. A little faster, yep. She likes this corner now that we let her have a break there and now she wants to slow down each time you get there. So we just register that like, oh, she goes too slow. So as I pass that other pole, I'll add more legs so she keeps going faster. There's your running walk, yep. So when she's doing her saddle gait, you'll kind of hear the her feet hitting the ground a little faster too. So this will kind of have a little bit of a longer stride and then that saddle gait won't have a head shake and it'll kind of be like pucka 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 as she's going around. Now she's too slow. Yeah, then she went too fast. So we want to bring her head down a little bit. There you go. Now leg, 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 leg. Yep. So you might have, when you're practicing, you might have to carry a little stick if she's being relaxed and slow. She's been distracted the whole time, Steve. But Paul is doing great because every time you rode by, she got distracted. That's good. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Now she's going more towards the saddle gate. So just a tiny bit slow. Now she, that's too slow. It's right in between. And that's the hardest part for people. 
you know, is getting that right speed. So now she's still too slow, so a little faster. Yep, and if she doesn't respond, then you just bring the leg back. That's a better speed. Now she's got too much. Right there. Yep, now leg, 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 so she keeps going because we know she slows down there. There you go. Good. Now stop her. Whoop. And we're going to give her a break in a different spot. Yeah. And now she can stand here for a minute and then we'll go the other way. We're going to have a running walk. You're good. Yep. Don't go any faster. She's going to go into her saddle gate. There you go. Good. Oh, now she got too slow. Yep. And she's almost getting too relaxed. So you just don't want that head. We want it low, but we don't want it down to her knees. Right there is good. A little slower. Yep. It's just right by, as you get to the gate, it's just two or three steps that are a little too fast. And then she starts going more towards her saddle gate. So it's nice she has all these different speeds. We just want her to stay in the one we ask her to do. Right. Yep. Now she's too slow because she's like, you guys are chit-chatting. I don't have to work. A little bit slower. That's more her saddle gate. Right there is good. Yeah. A little slower. Yep. Those are those three steps of fast by the gate. A little slower. Now keep going. <laughs> she's all motivated to get by her new friend over there. <laughs> the new hussy. <laughs> a little slower. Yeah, we're going to go faster in a minute, but yeah. now she's too slow. Okay, so now it's okay. He's gone. Now go ahead and speed her up and we'll go up into her saddle gate. Let's see how she does. Yeah. So you're good. Yep. Yeah. Now if you want to go faster you can and then i'll see if she does something with her legs if she does hit a hard pace or she hits a trot yep you're still good Go a little faster. This is just so I can, I'm trying to see what she does when you're trying to catch up with the other people. She's almost going. Yep, go a little faster. <laughs> go a little faster. She can go pretty darn fast. She's almost going more towards a trot versus a pace, at least in here, yeah. as you got faster. So if, if when you're out there, it gets really bumpy and you know how to post, try to post. Because usually it's very hard to post to the pace and the foxtrot. So if you can't post and it's bouncy, it's most likely a pace. But if you can post and it's bouncy, then you know they were doing a trot. Okay. Yeah. So that'll just kind of help you to figure out because again, if they're trotty, we usually bring their head up and if they're pacey, head down. So we want to make sure we're doing the right thing. Or if somebody can videotape you, then we can see for sure. Yeah. Now start getting her attention. You might have to slide the bit because he went by and she's going to be looking for him. She looks fun to ride. <laughs> All right. So now slow it down just a little. So still stay at a saddle gate, just a slower saddle gate. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, now a little leg. Keep her going. Good. Now slow it down a little more. See if you can get her back in the running walk. So you see her head shaking and you feel a different sensation in the saddle. A little bit more leg. Yep, she came down too much. Right there. Oh, you went past it. <laughs> That's better. Yep. So, yep. Keep her attention. We're just going to slow it back down. She went up towards the saddle gate. Yep. Keep, so keep her at the running walk. More leg because now she's down to a flat walk. Yeah. And there she kind of popped forward and went. Now you got it. Yep. Oh, more leg. More leg. 
That's good with her head. That'll help. There you go. That's good. Okay, now I would stop because that's perfect. And then I would quit with that. 